Hi, it is South Africa. <laughs> Welcome back to Travel to Places, and we are visiting Manyoni Private Game Reserve, nestled in the heart of Zululand, South Africa. We stayed here for two days and one night, and in this video, we tell you everything you need to know about this park. Manioni Private Game Reserve is one of the largest privately owned reserves in KwaZulu-Natal. This 23,000 hectare reserve is the product of 17 dedicated landowners who dropped their fences in 2004 to create one contiguous protected area for all the wildlife, and they are still expanding. Manioni offers different types of lodges, all run by their family-owned businesses. We chose to stay at the Leopard Mountain Lodge, a five-star multiple award-winning safari lodge set. This safari lodge gives you a real intimate and exclusive feeling. With only nine luxury suites, they are able to guarantee personalized service. The rooms have an outdoor and indoor shower and a pool for relaxing. From the terrace, you have a beautiful view of the meadow. An overnight stay at Leopard Mountain Lodge includes an afternoon game drive and a morning game drive as standard. So make sure you arrive before 2.30 p.m. Otherwise, you will unfortunately have to miss the afternoon game drive. After our lunch, we started our first game drive. And soon we saw the first giraffes crossing right in front of our car. As one of the founders of Magnoni, Leopard Mountain Lodge is committed to rhino conservation and other sustainable initiatives, such as supporting the local community. They started a rhino release site project in 2005, confirmed by the WWF, which has now increased their population. The black rhino does not easily show itself because it is very shy. We were very lucky that two black rhinos suddenly came out of the bushes. Unfortunately, they did not want to be seen either. Manioni Private Game Reserve is a great alternative if you do not want to visit the Kruger Park due to malaria and still want to see the Big Five. But other than that, I don't think you should skip this park. It's way too beautiful for that. And another big advantage is that you share the park with only a few people. Our guide Ross is so passionate about his profession. He knows everything about the region and the animals and he really gave us a special safari feeling we will never forget. During the afternoon ride, we find a nice spot to watch the sunset while enjoying some drinks and snacks. After sunset, the drive continues into dusk to provide an opportunity to find some of the rarer nocturnal animals before returning to camp. Upon returning to camp, there will be time to freshen up before sitting and relax around the campfire. After dinner, you can choose to book an optional evening game drive, which of course we did. The evening game drive is a night game drive that takes place after sunset. The aim of this activity is to observe animals that are mainly active at night and to experience the African bush in the dark. The night drive takes about two hours. Evening game drives are not permitted in national parks. So another advantage if you stay in a private park. You're asking why, uh, so if it eats bones? Yes. So, and that is why it is so white. Uh -huh. Uh huh. With the disappearance of daylight, the African wilderness transforms into a fascinating and exciting environment. Pitch dark or drenched in moonlight, the night drive always brings something special. Using a spotlight, you can look for typically nocturnal animal species such as the leopard, bush baby, lion, hyena, and some various owls. We got back to our room around 11 p.m., set our alarm, and drank our ticket to Dreamland. After a short night's sleep, we got up at 4.30 a.m. for the morning game drive, so fingers crossed we will find a lot of wildlife. In the morning, you will get a completely different experience than in the afternoon or evening. Most animals are most active in the morning, and many animals are happy that they made it through the night, like this boy. Other animals are less lucky. Shortly afterwards, we came across these lions, who had just filled their bellies and looking for a place to rest.
It was so amazing to see how calm the lions remained, even though they knew we were in the area. Every now and then, the mother would let us know that we were not allowed to come any closer. So a lot of people say, oh, male lions can't hunt, but he would be a very big, uh, he would be a very important role in the hunting. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> a lioness with her two cubs that will soon grow into adult lions. The lion is slowly growing his mane and will soon have to be independent. After three years, they have to leave the nest. It can still be quite cold in the morning, so make sure to wear warm clothes. It is best to dress in layers. If it gets warmer, you can quickly take something off. Another advantage of a private park is that the park has its own rules and can therefore also go off-road. That gives you much more freedom and increases the chance of seeing wildlife, and you can get much closer to the animals. We were less than 10 meters from giraffes, zebras, and some water bucks. I'll tell you, one on the further right could possibly be pregnant. Yeah. All the others, they just got big bellies. <laughs> There's no excuse for them. <laughs> Until they're running. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and you can leave a comment if you like. We really appreciate this. Unfortunately, we were not able to see the entire Big Five. It was our first safari, so the next time we will definitely book an extra night. This would have increases the chances of seeing more animals, and we would also have been able to enjoy the lodge and their great service a little more. Everyone here tries so hard to give you the best time of your life, and the food is so good. Back at the hotel, we asked for permission to fly our drone. Leopard Mountain Lodge is located on a hill. Due to its high location, you have a great view of the meadow surroundings, and you can enjoy the most breathtaking views in Zululand from the meandering Misundus River below to the distant Lobombo Mountains, where Africa's Great Rift Valley begins. If you would like to know more about Manyoni Private Game Reserve and what they are up to, you can find some links in the description below. That's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video.